There was today at the United Nations a resolution calling for the immediate humanitarian truce between Israel and Hamas. The United Nations has not uh, denounced what Hamas has done in any of its proposition, including here. But they demanded that aid be provided to Gaza and that Israel stop all aggression towards the Gaza Strip and Hamas. Canada uh, tried to insert um, into uh, this a, a provision that condemned uh, Hamas for its October 7th terrorist attacks, but that was voted down. So available to the United Nations was a resolution calling for immediate truce humanitarian truce. 120 countries voted in favor of the resolution. 14 countries voted against the resolution. And 45 countries abstained. Abstained. No moral position on this. Now, those numbers don't reflect the real horror of this. Because you think 14 countries voted against this. That's pretty cool. I mean, Israel is one of them. The United States is another. But if you actually look at the countries that voted against this, right, it's, yeah, let me, let me, let me find this. I mean, it includes countries like, um, Nauru, I don't even know where Nauru is, Papua New Guinea, uh, Paraguay, Paraguay is a real country, but um, Tonga, uh, yeah, I mean, those are the countries that voted. It's interesting to see who voted uh, against it. The only kind of real countries, real countries, significant countries, Fiji voted against it, Fiji. Good for the Fijians, my next vacation, we're going to Fiji. But look at this, Austria voted against the proposition. Croatia voted against it. The Czech Republic voted against it. That was surprising. Guatemala voted against it. Hungary voted against it, trying to, trying to reduce the, the, the claims that they're uh, anti-Semitic. But of course, Hungary is very anti-Islam, so that drives it. Uh, let's see, who else? Uh, Marshall Islands, there's another, Micro, Micronesia. Um, Papua, I said Papua New Guinea, Paraguay, you know, that's about it. Tonga, I said, and the United States. Right. Then I found it interesting to see who voted, who abstained. Which countries don't have an opinion of this, but are not gonna, are, are gonna abstain about a, a ceasefire in a war of self-defense by Israel? P countries that abstained. Albania, okay. Australia? Thanks, Australia. Australia. Canada. Really? Canada? I'm skipping. Denmark. Estonia. Finland. Georgia. Germany. Greece. Iceland. I'm just reading the Western countries. <laughs> Iraq abstained, which is kind of weird. I don't know how Iraq abstained. Anyway, go, go figure why, why Iraq abstained. There must be something, something going on there. Iraq wanted to probably condemn Israel. It was too soft on Israel. Italy, Japan, Lithuania, Latvia, uh, Netherlands, Northern Macedonia, Korea, South Korea. I wonder what will happen when North Korea invades and the UN demands a ceasefire. I mean, this is a moral travesty. These are all Western countries. These are countries that did not have the guts to say no. Israel should finish this operation. Israel has every right to defend itself. But worse than that are the countries that voted for this. Countries that voted for it. Again, non-Arab countries. Argentina. Um, to, 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 to Belgium. Belgium. Brazil. Well, Brazil is run by the crazy leftists. China, of course, you'd expect that. Chile, again, president is a rabid lefty. Colombia, Costa Rica, you'd expect it from Cuba. But would you really expect it from France? Maybe, I guess many of you are saying, well, of course France. France voted to, for, the, for Israel to stop. Ireland. Um, I'm naming these because it's good to know. It's good to know who your friends and who your enemies are. Liechtenstein. What has Israel done to Liechtenstein? 
right? Mexico, Mongolia, very disappointed in Mongolians. Uh, da, 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 da. New Zealand, God, and they just have they have a kind of a white right wing government in New Zealand. What's the deal there? Portugal, I'm in Portugal right now. Ukraine, oh no, Ukraine, abs- uh, uh, Ukraine was part of the people who abstained, as was the United Kingdom. They abstained. Ugh. Anyway, just disgusting. I mean, again, Israel has every right to defend itself. Ceasefire? A ceasefire would be an abomination. And it denies, again, Israel's absolute right to self-defense. Yeah. Hard to beat it.